This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now, where we bring you the three E's, educate, empower, and engage. I'm your host, Harvey Blankfeld, along with our co-host, Shelly Brown, and we've been selling homes here in Southern Nevada since 1988. Shelly and I are also very proud to be part of the Real Estate Radio Network. That is a national network of local real estate professionals delivering timely, balanced truths about local market conditions. And with us in studio right now, we have John Ingram. Now, John Ingram is with a Freedom Mortgage, and he's a native Las Vegan been doing this mortgage stuff for the last 11 years you know what's going on out there with mortgages mm-hmm. right now because it's mortgage markets much like real estate it changes so what's going on with mortgages these days yeah it's it's definitely evolved since the the crash and the the big crisis obviously that, that kind of really let off in 2008 so right. the industry's had to transform through Multiple forces. I mean, market forces where banks were just losing money and, and lenders were losing money on mortgages, let alone the new regulations that came through from the CFPB, this sort of thing. Right. Um, yeah, we, we've seen our industry have to transform significantly with, with the intent being we're trying to protect people. Right. Um, no longer does the, the, the industry allow for somebody to say, I am the perfect borrower. I've never had any sort of issue whatsoever, ever in borrowing any kind of money. Give me five shortcuts because of that. Right. I know I've got this handle. The industry now has been regulated to the point where everybody is treated the same. Doesn't matter if you've had, you know, five late payments in your life or none, Mm -hmm. you're going to get the same sort of treatment and process through the mortgage industry process. According to my FICO score, I might be treated differently. Is that true? Um, You'll be typically priced differently. So you'll you'll be rewarded for having that excellent credit score, that sort of thing. But when it comes to asking you for certain documents or paperwork or or asking questions about your past, you're the same as somebody who's had multiple challenges effectively. prove it, baby. Exactly. Prove it. it. Back it up. You know, uh, when you do a mortgage loan, you have... Basically, there are three key areas to focus on. What Correct. Are those, what are those three Correct. key areas? Yeah, there's 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 core focus areas. I mean, it starts out with, or it doesn't necessarily start out, but all these these pieces work in tandem to figuring out if a person is qualified and financially capable of of handling this this mortgage payment effectively. Mm-hmm. You know, it starts out by looking at their income. Um, income nowadays must be documented and proven. This was no, obviously not previously the case or always the case, but now is something we rely on heavily um, to determine that this person's going to be okay. And looking at the income, we're focused on, in general, if you want to kind of ballpark this at home, they're looking for you to make about $2 for every $1 in bills. That's kind of the maximum. Mm -hmm. If you're better than that, you're heading down sort of the right road to be able to get that mortgage that you want. From the mortgage point of view, and there's there's a little variation to this, but for the most part, it's credit-related obligations. Okay. So things like credit card payments, car payments, student loans. But if I owe $5,000 on my credit card, you only count the payment against me. Is that correct? Yeah, that that's the exactly right way to think about it. There are uh, some out-of-pocket expenses when you buy a home. Mm-hmm. What what do we want to talk about with that? What are the basics there? Well, you know, for me, when I have my conversations with consumers, I always like to break it down into two pieces because everybody starts out with like the, the idea of or the standard that, hey, I have to do a down payment on a house. That's that's normal thinking right. Right. And, and a basic consideration. What I want them to also know that there's a second piece to that, which is closing costs. Mm-hmm. When, when you purchase a home, there are expenses that are normally buyer's obligations that need to be accounted for. So when, when we're coaching our, our clients in preparation to buy a home, we want to make sure that they're dealing with the real life, which is the combination of down payment plus the typical and normal closing costs Mm -hmm. uh, for our area. You've been listening to Las Vegas Real Estate Now with hosts Harvey Blankfeld and Shelley Brown. Please tune in every Saturday at 11 a.m. right here on News Talk 720 KDWN.